the three teams right now that's causing so much stir in the some, NBA. Some drama. Like, who do you feel is kind of the biggest story right now or the biggest uh, that's grabbing everyone right now in the NBA? Is it is it the fact that Melo is having all these drama in New York? Is it the Cavaliers right now with James needing help, asking for help, Charles needing Barkley. more help than he, he is getting, needing a backup? Or is it the drama in Chicago with Bulls? Not just the Bulls front office, but Jimmy Butler, Dwayne Wade, Rondo. What's going on? What's what do you guys feel like? It's the I mean, so far? It, between those three stories, um, you could say the the Melo situation. When with the Melo rumor trade, the trade rumors, I'd say I we can't uh, speculate until anything happens past the deadline, like trade deadline. So that just passes down. Um, the Chicago Bulls and the LeBron James uh, storylines, I feel like they're the top stories. But if I had to choose one of those two, I'd say the Chicago Bulls. Just because on paper, they were supposed to, like, Rajon Rondo, Dwayne Wade, and uh, Jimmy Butler. They were, they're on paper, they were supposed to, they, they look like they're going to click. And they'll be the top team in the East. Mm -hmm. But now they're having problems. They're having locker room problems. They're having front office problems that shouldn't be out in the public. They should be staying in the locker room. Just like Kevin Garnett talked about it a few weeks ago. Anything that happens in the locker room, any issues, anything that they say to other players, like people speaking their minds, they should just keep it in the locker room and not like spread it out. Use social media, use Instagram to just tell like um, what's happening behind their backs. Like I feel like that's so, I mean, we're in the social media world, but like, I mean, for those type of things to do, like don't, don't post on social media. Like keep those, keep those in the locker room. Yeah, I'm, I'm with JR. Like, when you have Rajon Rondo as the peacekeeper and he's your best teammate, you know you have a problem. I feel that too. Like, he's usually the one that usually causing starts the problem. The yeah, Rajon Rondo steer. is not usually a peacemaker. And here I, he is. It's, like, usually, it's usually Dwayne Wade, yeah. usually. But, Jim, I mean, it's hard to say. Like, like who do you think is, like, who do you think is going to be the, um, are they, do you think you're going to be uh, as a team by the at trade deadline? You uh, think one of them is going to be traded or something? There's a lot happen? of, I think, speculation in the sense that before they're actually coming into the season, they've, in paper, everyone was doubting it because you have people, you have Rondo, Dwayne Wade, and Jimmy Butler that are actually ball handlers and primary ball handlers in their team, and only both, one of them shoot. Only the one of them really can really shoot, like kind of shoot with Jimmy with Jimmy yeah. Butler, and most of the team is built really not to shoot. And you have a coach like Fred Hoiberg, like they're Pace saying, space. his offense is a pace and space in the sense that he needs shooters and here he is being given players that are not able to shoot and so is it do you think it's the front office or more of the type of players that they brought in that's causing all these dramas well hats off to for, uh, yeah. Hoiberg for doing decently in the first half of the yeah. season doing pretty well but it's clearly they had no idea where they're going mm -hmm. they don't know if they're building around Jimmy Butler or not and then they're like oh well I guess Wade is available if we pay him two million dollars more than the heat he'll come along <laughs> And you're just picking up Rondo for one year because you got no point guard. Do you, think, do you think they, they have an identity yet? Like they, they were supposed to have? Absolutely not. No, not, no. not even close in a sense. I think they haven't figured out what they are as a team. And they haven't figured out what really works with not, not just the coaching staff, but just the chemistry and the, uh, in the personnel that they have. Just don't, you, they just don't have the kind of players really. Um, they have players that try to lead like I, I have a, I just have this feeling with Rondo, Wade, and Jimmy. They are very outspoken, and they're they have that kind of like you know take over kind of mentality. And when you have three that kind of have that mentality, it's hard to mesh. Like it reminds me of what happened when you have um, Melo and uh, Iverson in the same team. Like they had the same personality, they have the yeah. same kind of play style, and that then here you out. are, it didn't work out, right? So I mean, I guess for us, it's you know the Chicago Bulls. But how do you guys feel about the the, we have about a minute to go through this really quickly, but the Cavaliers with James and the Barkley kind of scenario, like, so, who do you feel is kind I mean, of... Barkley kind of went personal saying LeBron James doesn't compete. But then again, LeBron James, he, he, he definitely took it personal and then he went, took a step further and then attacked Charles Barkley like every, every single way. Like he talked about how he went to jail. Uh, he got arrested or, or some, some sort he of He did like, took it in, in that. He, took, he did went out of line in terms of like, you know. I love he, it. Yeah. But you, you, can't, you can't attack a guy, a former, a former champion. Well, he is a champion, but like you can't attack a guy like at his stage right now yeah. for 
you know his competeness. But like then again, he has he has more of a like um, he just he just wants people to come to his team for no reason. I mean like you already true. have the people already. Yeah, it's true. It's... Well, like the, the other thing is like LeBron is LeBron and. Charles will always be Charles, but and yeah. I like the angry LeBron, and yeah. I think he's too smart of a character to actually be not doing this on purpose. He's yeah. definitely taking the attention yeah. off of the fact that the Cavs are slumping and they're under 500 yeah. in January. Yeah. To, to kind of, uh, I guess, to me, to kind of put it all out, like, I like that LeBron is going out of his way to kind of, you know, hey, I've been, you know, I've been... So I've been chilling it out. I've been kind of sh keeping my mouth shut, but it's you know enough is enough. I like that, right? Yeah. But I'd rather see more of hey, keeping it basketball, right? He talked more about basketball, and I, I I hope he keeps it that way instead of attacking Charles personal. That's all really mm -hmm. I wanted to see more, like attacking more basketball. I, I like that, right? So.